What's going on, Assassins? It's Dark Shard of the YouTube Assassin. And before we even get into this, check this out. We now have the ability to collect the Ezio Legacy outfit. It is currently made available. There is nothing that you actually have to do to collect it besides go into Ubisoft Connect and you will be able to collect it from there. It doesn't have the same requirements that it did previously where it's asking you to play two different games. It just allows you to collect it. So this is it. It actually looks pretty cool. Not too bad. And not any other stats any wilder than we're already used to. So it's really not over the top. It's just something that you may want to look into just because you think it looks cool or whatever. But that's about it. Anyway, we'll get into what's actually going on with the rest of the stuff. We got more news later as far as the uh, next DLC coming out. And I'll explain that a little bit later. So here we go. We're going to check out what he's got. Black Raven front tattoo. This is 35 opal. Charlemagne's torso, 120 opal, part of the Charlemagne set. They don't have the whole set though. In here, Jar Hood, I hope I said that correctly. This should be about 120 opal as well. Then we have the Hearthwiru helmet. That is 120 opal. Going down to the George's blade. This has got to be 120 opal. I don't see it being anything else. Charlemagne tailpiece. This is 35 opal. And of course, that's for your longship. And the Charlemagne back tattoo. That is another 35 opal. So... In order to get the opal, obviously, we have to do the contracts, and we'll take a look at what we've got. The Jumps Vikinger Code, that's our weekly. The Daily Beast, and, or the Deadly Beast, and the Thieves Couple, those are both our dailies. So, we're going to get into it and see what's going on with that. Again, these are going to be really easy. I know a lot of people have been having problems where they're only getting one or two, and I believe that that's because of the sliding scale for the difficulty if you have it on nightmare you're only going to get one daily anyway uh the deadly beast we're going to come out to a certain area and we're going to take out these beasts we're going to deal with the save game issues as well uh once you take the beast down you just confirm the kill that's 300 opal or 300 xp yeah right opal 300 xp and it's going to be uh five opal now, sometimes you'll find this wolf fighting a snake up here. Sometimes in this area, you're going to find a warthog that you'll have to take out. Sometimes that warthog is stuck in a rock. Try to figure out how to get it out or just log out, log back in and reacquire the quest. Next is the thieves couple. I've never experienced them anywhere else, but here they're always on like this little hilly outcropping. And all you have to do really is just take out the one guy. You don't have to take out the couple. But in the middle of taking out this one guy, you are going to see the woman come out to attack you. And then there's also wolves in this area. So if this is your first time doing this, then definitely be careful. This is, uh, you know, it's going to get complicated real fast with all the other add-ons that just appear from out of nowhere. So just be wary of them again. And then finally, what we've got is the Jums Vikinger code. And this one, as usual, we've got these three big burly men guarding one Jums Vikinger. And our goal is just the Viking himself. We don't need to take out the rest of these guys if you can. If you could take them out and confirm the kill, you could go about your business. I like to take them out, however, because they usually have some great lootables. Sometimes they have some runes that they drop, and the silver that they drop is usually a little bit more than usual. Sometimes we'd get like three silver from a character, or I think the most I've ever seen was like seven. These guys drop anywhere from the, the tens place all the way to like, the, I've seen I think like 23 silver that these guys have dropped. Which, not that you're going to be begging for silver or that it's going to be super necessary, but something to consider. So we'll take this guy out. And uh, the final thing that I want to tell you is that we actually have the launch times for the Siege of Paris. So in the Americas, if you have the season pass, it's ready August 11th at 8 a.m., which is 
pretty wild. 8 a.m. Eastern. That is not bad. Uh, if you buy it separately, the 12th at 5 a.m. is when Eastern is when it'll be available to you. Epic Game Store, August 11th, 8 a.m. August 12th, 11 a.m. If you don't have the season pass, Xbox. If you have the season pass, 11 August 11th, 8 a.m. Eastern again. If you don't, August 12th, 12:01 a.m. local time. It says. And then let's see. Uh, it launches on the PlayStation 4 or 5 August 12th at 12:01. Stadia at 11 on the 11th at 8 a.m. And then we're looking at Europe and the Middle East. Uh, for the season pass, Ubisoft Connect, Epic Games Store, and even Xbox One, August 11th at 12 UTC. And if you don't have the season pass, it'll be available for you August 12th at 0900 UTC. Asia and Oceania, it's going to be for the season pass, uh, Ubisoft Connect, Epic Games Store, Xbox, on the 11th at 10 p.m., AEST, and if you don't have the game, the season pass, August 12th, 7 p.m. AEST. So those are the times. Well, the Epic Game Store will be 1 a.m. AEST, and Xbox will be 12:01 a.m. local time. PlayStation, the same thing. It'll be local time. It'll be 12:01. So that will be on August 12th. Anyway. That's all there is to this. Let me know if you got the Ezio outfit. Let me know if you're psyched for the Siege of Bugs. I mean Paris. And let me know what do you think of uh, this week's selection. Other than that, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, take care. Be good. Stay safe. Take care of each other. I'll see you guys all in the next one. And, of course, we're going to end this on a Ya Yeet. Speaking of Siege of Bugs. Yeah, yeah.